Monday. What a Monday. Beautiful here. I think Man, I need to teach perfect. you how to whisper, though. I was trying, we had more breaking going on, and it just was referring to somebody's Cooper. I'm like, who the heck is Cooper? But no, then I figured it out. kind of said, who the heck is Cooper? I'm That's sorry. what it felt like. I was talking into the microphone to the producer. Okay. I'm just That's teasing. Fine. Sorry. Um, we have these cool stories today that yes. Alan, the producer, wanted to do. I like them. I like them, too. They're really Show cool. Us. Show us. You already teased this one. This is this little 10-year-old boy from Delaware. Look Who's the quietest piano is. player ever. <laughs> You can't, he plays the weirdest thing. He plays the piano and you can't hear it. His name is Spencer, and he says he's nervous but excited because he's 10 and he may be going to college in the fall. But this is no, like, you know, ordinary 10-year-old Einstein. Right. He was reading at 18 months, doing his numbers at 18 months, and he says he wants to solve the unsolved millennium problems, which, as you probably know, Shepard, are the seven greatest unsolved mathematical puzzles of our time. That's his goal is 10. But his mom, he sounds really adorable. He reads Harry Potter, he eats pizza, he rides his bike, and his mom says, we're just nervous that, you know, it's great. He's going to be with all these brilliant people, but he's a kid. I he's know, not gonna right? Fit in. Well, the Skinner girls were drinking, were eating, excuse me, <laughs> were reading long before 18 months, right? They were definitely eating is. before 18 months. <laughs> <laughs> That's about all I can say. Right. Uh, and then yes. there's this other cool story of this 92-year-old lady in St. Paul, Minnesota, Bernice. She just graduated from high school. She actually didn't even, she had done all, isn't that great? Yay. She didn't know, uh, they surprised her. The superintendent came to this party and surprised her and said, guess what, we're gonna give you a diploma and a little cap and gown? Because she'd completed all her requirements, but she didn't necessarily think she needed a diploma. So. She dropped out back in the day, right? Right, because she had to work, support her family in 1927. She had all these little kids and family to take care of, and she always wanted to, Increase her knowledge, so she kept studying all these years, and isn't that cool? That's oh, that makes cool. you feel good on a Monday, doesn't it? It does. Grandma graduates, and the kid's smarter than all of us combined. <laughs> and then some. Yeah. You had a good weekend? Uh, I did. Did you? I had a great weekend. Really good week. Good. So nice here. Sometimes in August, you know, where I grew up, it's it's 99 and 99 percent humidity and it's yeah. miserable. Yeah. But here in August, sometimes it it's 72 perfect. and sunny and 10 percent humidity, and it's like man, we were it's wearing great to be alive. sweatshirts at night. It's great. Yeah. So that's right. I'm sure it'll be 95 by the end of the week. <sighs> More tours will be here by tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. See you, skins. <laughs>